All right, guys, it's Alchemy of Life. Today is a different video. Today we are out in the garden showing its progress. I, well, I've been showing it off on, the, on Instagram Live, so these are Kales. That kind of look like that weird character off The Simpsons that's always trying to kill everybody. And these are our seasonings right in front of the Kales. I'm about to sniff the seasonings. That's rosemary right there. Always, if you're a witch, an alchemist, and the spiritual life, that furthest plant over there at the end, rosemary, always, always have rosemary. I'm going to put some by the front door. Plant some by the front door. Or put some in the mailbox. Which I forgot. That's got to be parsley right here. Uh, that's a dill plant, that tall ass thing right there. And I'm not sure what that is. Some type of basil. Like this is dill. Oh yeah, this is dill. My fault. This is dill. This is cilantro. This is parsley. That's rosemary. And I think the rest are some off some like different types of basils. So as you can see, kale plants get really 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 fucking big. And we got most of these things at halfway grown at Walmart, partially grown plants at Home Depot. Like those plants right right there, the go all the way right there, those are ghost pepper plants. Small little ghost peppers right next to collards and kales. Those are ghost peppers. Everybody thinks ghost peppers are hot as shit. I don't think so. I just don't like their taste, but their heat ain't nothing. So uh, when we get them in... I'm definitely going to do a video on, uh, you know, how hot they are, ghost peppers. I'm going to eat one on camera. I'm going to actually do a pepper series where I probably just eat peppers and see how hot they are. You know. And we got some pepper plants right here. Cucumbers right next to them. And right here, we got tomatoes. And the trellis. And the trellises, these are tomatoes. Now, this is 95% my work. You know, I tore up the ground. We didn't. We don't have a tiller, so I had to use a spade shovel and a fucking yard hoe to get all this ground. Tore up. I tore it up like three, four times, and you know how much work that is? So much work. Doing it, because my dad can't really do it. He's got congestive heart failure and stuff, so he can barely bend over to put a... Like, if I open up a valley kind of like this in the ground and like dig a hole here and say all you gotta do is put the plant in the ground and cover it with dirt and the man feel like he don't want he didn't just ran a whole marathon that's how bad it is just, I done done most of the work all you gotta do is plump it down in there next thing you know I gotta do the rest of the work you know but he don't want to do nothing to make you know take care of himself but that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a weird situation, but you know, love my pops though. But he's kind of backwards person. We have our bell peppers in this line, which are kind of dying out, but they're back. So most of them are coming back. They are all three out here, so we're just gonna put something new here. I de-weeded it uh, the other day because there were weeds all up in every every patch that you see is clear. It was weeds there. I took the yard hoe, scraped them out. You know, so as you can see, sweet Italian peppers are not that hot. So I'll probably bake that one and do do the first one of the pepper series is that one because that's what we have growing. Collards, more um, got some bell peppers, some different types of peppers. And these are the collards. But the one thing I will say is if you ever get a garden, invest in the things that you're always going to the store for, fresh fruit and vegetable wise. And then I would say if you ever need to start an independent business, like when I get my own place here in a bit, I'm gonna and I I'm gonna have make sure it has a nice backyard where I can I already know how to put a garden in and maintain it. I will be growing greens. Why? Because if I picked all these greens right now, they're just going to come back in two or three weeks. In two or three weeks, it'll be just like this again. 
so they just come back and if I leave the stem there in the ground for a whole season it could snow and all they're uh, one one year like a year or two ago they prove themselves no matter what as long as the roots are in the tack in the ground they will come back you won't even have to plant them again they get all mushy and gross looking in the winter time because it's all wet and moist but they dry out in a little you know during the springtime becoming like a little dry ass little stick if you just water them they'll it'll activate itself just water them it'll activate and they will come back you know you can have your own independent gardening business you can sell to people around the neighborhood easy people in our neighborhood are always want fresh fruits and vegetables you know what i'm saying so invest in a garden and gardening it'll definitely pay off if you have a space as big as this we don't use the whole backyard we just use from here all the way to where you can see my room that's my ac all the way there it's, i'm not sure how big that is but it's not a lot of space in our backyard There's a lot less space that we have to mow too so that's cool but yeah this is just a detour of the garden and you know you got to use cause and effect you got to see what works and what doesn't you know what gardening methods work one year with certain plants don't work the next year with different plants it's just you know it's a it's a whole different thing you know what i'm saying so definitely if you have backyard space and especially if you live somewhere where it's always sunny year round like a florida a california somewhere where you can grow year round get your ass a fucking garden it's that simple you like stuff you like to eat fresh fruits and fresh vegetables get yourself a garden especially with things that replenish themselves and cucumbers they do the same thing as greens they come right fucking back they grow in a little bu bushel and vine like that kind of messed up we, we kind of want to put it in a trellis so you got to kind of know that cucumbers are going to grow wild like this so you may need a, a few different trellises maybe i'll start off with one i believe one will do because it'll just grow kind of like these tomato plants they'll grow on the trellis kind of like vines grow in a house when they start growing a house you know what i'm saying it adapts to the climate in which it's growing you know and then you study the gardening and maintaining your garden now, my dad likes to use miracle Grow, but I am in the process of finding something organic. So I'm thinking about putting some platinum, gold, and different type of supplements that I take on it. Just to do an experiment. I know that those, supp those supplements are naturally in the ground. So that should be A1. So if I'm feeding it to them, you know, they should be growing. They should be better than miracle Grow. It should be like a fucking steroid for it, but it's natural, organic. So that is the garden. Make sure you have enough space to maintain and clean the weeds. It's easier to do with a weed eater. So you, but most of the time you might have to do it with a garden hoe. You gotta hoe it out, gotta dig that hoe out. Because uh, you might kill a plant, you know, especially if you want to fill your garden up and you don't have that much space. You know, you might have to use a yard hoe, but it'll be easier to use a yard hoe if you put a trellis on the things you can put a trellis on. Most things can, you can put a trellis on. Like if it would be better if we put a trellis on all these plants over here, but we have to buy a lot. They're like two dollars. They're not much. I like those. My neighbor makes his. Miss uh, Papa Goins over there. He has his garden over there behind that tree. I'm not gonna go invade his privacy today but uh yeah he has his own and he makes his own you know from the why he he bends the wire himself welds it on there yeah he's real he's fucking cool been doing this shit for a long time he has but we've been doing ours for about five six years i've transitioned to doing most of the work but my dad still likes to take most of the credit, and I, he's mad because I, I never let him take the credit. You know, it's all on me. If I'm one planting the plants, turning the ground, putting the shit in there, watering it, make sure it gets watered every day, putting the uh, nutrients on it. Who who's doing all the work? You know what I'm saying? So one lesson for today: don't let t people take credit for your work, because that's like a law, of, one of the 48 laws of power, is to take credit. For, for the work that other people have done. But it works both ways. Remember the 48 laws of power work both ways in polarity. 
So take it literally and then don't take it literally. Find another way to bend it backwards. Just FYI. On that one. You know? But, uh, yeah, so that's the garden.